I wonder, can I do assassinations? Alright, this is the Ford section of the Halo 4 discussion. Slash custom games and game types. Um... Okay, Orbitama, you're the Forge Master of Halo 4, so I'm gonna let you take Wait, this. You're, Orby, you're gonna take this one by the me way. real quick. Alright, I wanna clarify, I am not the Forge Master of Halo 4, but out of the three of us, I'm probably the... You're, you, you, you spent the most at it, and you've done it the most. Yes. That's, that's what we're saying. Uh, my some of my problems with Forge is the lack of cut or game type selection. Sometimes you know, I have, am just I have a feeling they do have the game types in the game, but they don't have them programmed correctly. Well, I mean stuff like neutral flag. I I've seen modded games where they bring it back in. But that's like the what thing. we're playing I feel like right finally, now. Yeah, <laughs> well, they're finally listening to the community and they're bringing in these games like. People have been calling for a race game type since the game came out. Like that, they since the game came out. That's what they've been calling for, and they're finally like. Uh, it took them a long time. They're finally bringing it. Lost the crown. Finally. <laughs> And I'm, they're bringing it in like a you know week long whatever playlist. They're f like just bringing it in as a playlist. That's the thing. You could save the like... game type though, probably. So, well, that's uh, I mean, yeah. but like I said, the the game was shipped unfinished. As much as we liked Halo 4 initially, once you finally start like realizing, you know. Stuff, like, the first the two game. weeks this game was awesome, and then we felt like, hey, let's do some custom games. And everyone they was like, didn't oh. The options. Uh, yeah, there's nothing there. There was literally that, like, oh moment of, like, what the fuck? Or maybe, yeah, maybe just a what the fuck moment. It's like, how do I do this? How do I make this to where we can play Cop Pursuit and Robbers in Hot Pursuit? How do I do this? I can't do yeah. this. Yeah. Talk about the bugginess of Forge and how you made that map. Talk about it. We made a map, uh, Halo Reach remake, in an attempt to try Hot and... Hot Pursuit. Uh, if any of you haven't played Hot Pursuit, it's a race map, multi-layered, usually like figure eight or just a giant circle, where you try and push each other off. The cops are the infected, and the survivors are the humans who are trying to get pushed off. That one. Anyway, yeah, Lewis, we play it in. We, that's like the only custom game we play in Reach. Oh, Hot Pursuit, Lewis. Like, yeah. I, I, can't, I, can't, remember, I can't remember where but it was. We're, we're getting away from the point. Talk about the bugginess. So, we remade this map, and one day I go back into the map, and I edited. I tried to edit coordinates to try and make the map, uh. Like very smooth and have everything line up perfectly, and it, it worked. And I everything was perfectly smooth, everything lined up. Spent like and an hour came, on it, didn't you? I spent like an hour on it. I came back to that finally one day, and it everything was a skew by one. I don't know how it happened. I don't know what made it happen, but Ooh. all of a sudden, like. The game just... I don't know. What the heck is shooting me? I just okay. tried to call down an ordinance and totally fucking called down a second co a target locator and destroyed me. <laughs> oh, fuck! It just did it to me, too. But yeah, like, there's a, there's some bugs of Forge that, like, honestly, we, we couldn't play that map. Because you go full throttle on a mongoose and you hit one of them bumps, it fucks you up. Yeah. So it's your your TV's too loud. We can hear it. But yeah, it just it's it's buggy. It, it was not complete. It was like a week later. You came back and checked on it. Like you even went through the trouble of smoothing it out with the degrees, and it fucked it up. Yep, and it just kept it just kept going back to the way it was before. So it didn't matter. I mean, that's one of the driving points at Reach was so fun, it's kind of like how Black Ops is fun. You get tired of multiplayer, you go play Zombies. You get tired of multiplayer in Halo, you go play custom games. But now the only way to have fun in the custom games is to play a modded map like we are. 
I do not acknowledge this is the modded map at all. I don't know what you're talking about. My gamer tag is not DeviantXGo. <laughs> the one that said I played Devi I killed DeviantX Ghost. Do not ban me, Microsoft. I love you. I, don't, I really don't. I really don't think they care anymore about modded stuff in Halo. I think people uh, are gonna that, do that it. That is Lewis talking. I was known as Grim Ripper, not me. But uh. Also, Microsoft I, I is never know. going to see this. That, that's not what we're talking about. But uh. I don't know. Like, there's no neutral bomb. There's no neutral flag. What else are they missing, Orbit Atomic? Like, like, what are the game types that are fucked up? Race is the like 90% of the custom games. Granted, you know, I played selective custom games, but 90% of the custom games I played in Halo Reach were race game types or something along those lines. Things that you could uh, race, you know, people driving around. Uh, another thing is the zombies. You can't really play cops and robbers anymore because. The, you have to be a zombie scanner. And I mentioned that, I think they fixed it. I think there's some way to get it to work. But I This is what I'm saying now, like, you can do it, but it's a lot more difficult. There, it was all, it's like a step in the wrong direction. This shit should not be more difficult. It should get easier as each progressed game go, continues. And maybe that's just because 343 took over, over Bungie. If Bungie did it, maybe they done better. We'll never know. But we'll, Maybe they'll do massive, massive improvements on Halo 5. Maybe Halo 5 will sink. Who knows? I, I have think, a feeling they're going to... I it's think gonna, it's uh, Halo 5 is going to be better. I, I, I do not understand think it Halo 5 is the make it or break it game. I think Halo yeah. 5, it, it's the, for the new console, it's going to be... It's either going to be really good or it's going to be the game that breaks the series. Okay, Lewis, end this. This is fucking stupid. Probably. Yeah, now, that, now that you fucking got a incineration End it. and all you're doing is jumping around. <laughs> Fuck it, I'm I'm leaving. Or Tom join me. But uh I will end it. Yeah, it just they just took out Rooster Teeth did a great quote once. It had to do with machinima. If there are ten things required for machinima. But if you take out one or two of those things, it fucks the whole process up. Yep. It literally does. It's the same thing for custom games. And just all... It, it applies to almost everything. Like, you just take one or two things out and it ruins it. Yeah. There should almost be a word for it. What's a word where you have ten things right, but the one thing that's wrong fucks you up? Is there a word for that? Uh, fuck up? I don't know. It's... It's just... Th they didn't do things properly in this game. I don't think And they... I feel like people have raged about it like we're doing right now enough. Uh, Orbitomic, why'd you leave? I'm gonna go eat after this one's done, so I'm just gonna stay here. Okay. Yeah. Alrighty, I guess we've talked about Forge and whatever. I guess... Alright, here we go. What do we think they did right? Um, magnets? A lot of people complain about them. I do too. I think those are what fuck up my map when I was uh, readjusting we love, everything. I, you loved them at first. I, no, I love the idea of them, but a magnet can only like if you can't make a perfect box out of magnets. They don't fit together correctly. Like a magnet only connects to another magnet. So if you want to center something, you can't. It's only going to connect to that one magnet, and then like on the next piece that you place, there's going to probably be a small gap. Okay, well that goes on what do you think they did wrong? What do we think they did right? I think multiplayer at its core is balanced. I like what they did with multiplayer. Like, like gameplay-wise. We're gameplay customs. But... Now, this, is general, this is general everything now. Like, what do we think they did right on Halo 4 as a whole? I don't know. I think they did gameplay right, but the playlists were wrong. I think, um, I think the gameplay is right. I think that it's fast-paced. I like ordinance. I think that's a fun thing that they added. I think the gameplay itself is fun, but it's. I don't know how to describe it. It just does not have that addictive quality that Halo Reach had. I could play Halo Reach for hours and hours on end. This game, like right now, you guys are playing, but I, 
I'm tired. I don't want to do it anymore. Well, I don't either. I'm just doing it for the viewers at home. But I think what Reach, honestly, what kept us going was the credit system. Even though there wasn't a real ranking system in Reach, there was you were constantly progressing and making money. Like you yeah. always felt like you were earning something, which People is the same way in a ranking playlist. After, People could reach 130 after two weeks if they played enough, pretty much. You practically did. Yeah, I mean it's stupid. There's no, there, once I did that, if I wasn't in a like an achievement whore for Halo, there would have been nothing left for me in this game. I would not have cared at all. I, would I have remember been done for a while. I remember when they did that Lieutenant Colonel cap on Reach, and I got the Lieutenant Colonel before every for like two weeks before they took it off. I played a quarter of what I played before when I reached that max rank. I'm like, what's the fucking point? I'm not yeah. ranking up, which I learned later that you actually still ranked up, but I didn't yeah, know it at the well, time. Yeah, but I mean, it's, still, it's it's just that they take it away. You, there's no incentive to play this game. In, in Halo 2 and in Halo 3, with the ranking system that was per playlist, you always kept playing. They didn't have credits in Halo 2, but I always kept playing because I always wanted to brag and be like, yeah, I'm a level 32 in Team Slayer, you know? I mean, that's that's what you wanted to say. And they had, with the new update, they added the CSR rank, the competitive skill rank, but you can only check it on Waypoint. It couldn't exactly. add it into this it's, game. It's such, so you, it's have like, no, you have no way, th there's too much of a hassle to go in and check it. And that adds to the argument of mine that says, this game was shipped in complete. It really was. This, it's without, it's without, almost without like, it was, it's pre-Xbox 360 shit they're doing. They're trying to play catch up from Halo 2 with a yeah. ranking system. Yeah. I mean, come the I mean, fuck on. They should, what they should have done is had a beta, had the community's input. I liked the game when it first came out, but you quickly came to realize that there were a lot of problems. Like, like. the bullet shot up close and the DMR far away. I do think they should have done a beta. Them not doing a beta, like Reach, which, remember the beta for Reach? The fucking elites were OP as shit, but we kind of like that. But the grenades were overpowered. I remember one grenade could kill you at full shields. There were just there was a bunch of bugs and stuff, and they got some really positive feedback. Yeah, and they could have gotten some feedback like, oh, maybe the like they could have fixed it to the way it is now when the game, is. you know. And I feel like they could have added, uh, you know, more playlists or more maps or such before the game. I guess they just had the, maybe they were overconfident or. I just, I don't even know. I don't know why they didn't put a beta out. Maybe it takes up, they, they thought it would take up too many resources, and they wanted yeah. to just put more into the final product. But honestly, I think taking away those resources, it would have been better. It was probably too expensive. That's what I'm talking about, taking away from resources. But when you have something like, but like, Something like a CSR, like the competitive skill rank, you know, they could have added something like that in. People would have requested that. Um, and, and it could have been in the game, and it could have been a bigger part. Um, like, new game types. New, I mean, they probably wouldn't have beta tested Forge options, but people could have been like, hey, you know, they don't have race to be or something, you know? Just, race has been there since Halo 1. They added a bunch of new game types, but, like, if people were creative like I tried to, you can make a race game type out of King of the Hill. The only problem is, you have to be in the hill uncontested for one full second for it to count. Um, like, the guy behind you could, like, pass you up or something, you know? Yeah, I mean, ba basically, when you go search on YouTube how to make the race game type out of the options in Forge, they make it a King of the Hill... And they make this little tunnel that slows you down enough that you're in the hill for one second, so that you can. Yeah, it's, it's, that's that's it's, all it is. But it, it, it's not like it, you now you're winning. There's no checkpoint for the people who are behind you. You know, it's basically just a point system. It's basically rocket race. Yeah. All right. So overall, okay, positives. I think the. Gameplay was good. 
Graphics are great. Sounds amazing. Love the sounds. I think it's stuff we all agree upon. Campaign, we, we didn't really talk about the campaign, but it's, it's We're doing it's multiplayer. All, it's, yeah, it's all Campa- about multiplayer. Campaign's always, always there. It's always good. Um, I had no problems with it. I loved how it, they progressed the story. Uh, my problems were, no, Halo, you know, hey, one Master Chief and Cortana, sexy time. That's my only complaint. Yeah, but my my only <laughs> my problem is, okay, now I've beaten the campaign. Now what do you do? You go to multiplayer. What are the problems in multiplayer? Okay, now that I'm completed multiplayer, what do you do? You go to forge. You go to custom. Okay, okay. What are the problems there? So I have no problems with campaign. All right, here we go. Positive, graphic, sound, and gameplay amazing. Negative, no incentive to play for more than two weeks. Custom games are Correct. messed up. Forge is glitchy. It needs, no it machinima. Needs more. You're losing community like crazy, I feel. Like, a, lot of, a lot of community, people who are stuck sticking it out in the community, they stu- they're they doing Halo Reach stuff. Right. Yeah, they're yeah. Still, they're still making... Machinima they're, is harder in Halo 4. Damn near impossible. What I hear. Alright, and just to clarify for everyone, we are Halo fans. We have every Halo achievement well, up until Halo 4 right now. Still working on some Halo 4 for me. Orbitomic has them all. We love Halo. We're in it till the end. It's just... It's these just are not things cutting. that we have complained about, and these are things that we would like to see. I honestly feel like... It's just, it, it all boiled down to, they should have had public beta. Not just public beta, like private beta. Had people, maybe even just like two or three thousand people play, and just give them their thoughts. Alrighty, I guess that's it. We've, we've talked about it, we've hashed it out. We have different opinions on certain things, but I think we're overall the same. Anything yeah. else to add? Nope. <laughs> I'll think about it tomorrow. <laughs> I'm sure, yes. Yeah, like, as soon as I press the stop button, we'll think of something. Oh, All wait. Right. Oh, Promethean grenades. Oh. <laughs> God damn it. Whatever, splice it into the other one. Alright, go. What about Promethean grenades? Lewis made a great screen. suggestion. If you were going to uh, keep the Promethean grenade the same as the, its weak shit, you know, piece of whatever it is, keep the radius the same, keep the damages the same. I think that if someone walks through it, or if a vehicle goes through it, it should manipulate gravity or something in a way that it just slows people down. It slows down movement through it. So it's kind of like a, like you throw it out, and it's kind of a slow motion thing. My other question for it was, (laughs) you throw it down, it has the radius of like a kill ball, you know, something ridiculously big, but it does not do damage. In, instead, it makes it, um, it makes it kind of like a smoke screen. It makes it hard to see. So you can't, like... That would sound then, like a, a, a drop to me, not like a default grenade. Well, that could be, too. That could be a fun uh, drop, is, you know, sometimes you're behind a corner, you have ordnance with you, but it doesn't, you know, it, like, you don't want to call it down because there are people around you, so maybe a good drop would be, like, an option for, like, a smoke screen or something, and it drops it directly on top of you, and it doesn't kill you, this one particularly doesn't kill you, and it allows you to escape. Ah! Just throwing out some ideas. <laughs> I think that's a good one. I'm not sure Bungie will never, eh, not Bungie, uh, 343 will never actually hear our little commentary. But who knows, well, this, maybe this, this, What we're talking opinions. about, Lewis, is what everyone's talking about, though. This is how yeah, everyone not, feels. not necessarily the Promethean Grenade shit, but a lot no, of people okay. are on YouTube <laughs> complaining about how this but, game is going down. Just everything we discussed, everyone's got different opinions. They can all talk about it in the comments, all 12 of you. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, I think we're done. I'm stopping it. Fuck you all.